early in the morning, children board a school bus. But they're not headed to school, they're going to work. They're among the thousands of kids who work on tobacco farms in the United States each year. I was in the middle of the road, pulling the suckers out and the flowers. My head started hurting really bad, and I started seeing like, all black. So I got out the road, and I started throwing up. Under U.S. law, children have to be 18 to buy a pack of cigarettes, but they can work on tobacco farms when they are 12, or even younger. The U.S. government doesn't even recognize that this work is hazardous. Children who spend all day picking tobacco are exposed to toxic pesticides. The long-term health effects can include cancer, damage to the nervous system, and impacts on reproductive health. If you're a kid and your body is still developing, you're even more vulnerable to toxins. Sometimes last year they sprayed beside us while we were working in tobacco fields and that's when I got sick. When they spray you you can tell the chemical is it, very 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 strong. I couldn't work at all. I couldn't even stand. I was just laying in the bed. Tobacco workers can suffer nicotine poisoning, also known as green tobacco sickness. It's a hazard specific to tobacco farming. It happens when workers absorb nicotine through their skin while handling tobacco, especially when it's wet. We spoke to 141 children working on U.S. tobacco farms. Most of them reported symptoms consistent with acute nicotine poisoning. Uh, if you're cutting the wet, the worst thing about it, you'll get like, um, you'll get fevers. When you're on the barn, you could get sick just by the smell of it. Children can absorb as much nicotine as if they were actually smoking, and the long-term impact on their health is unknown. When it's wet in the mornings, we have to wear trash bags. But like around 10 or 11, it starts getting really, really hot. So like since the trash bags attract heat, you're like just like burning inside. The bags are not provided to us. We have to buy the bags. And if you're not wearing a trash bag and your whole body gets wet, when it gets dry with the sun, you, you feel sick. It's like you're getting the flu. Most of the children we spoke to were teenagers, but some were much younger. Samuel is nine years old. He goes along with his family to the fields and usually sells sodas to workers. But sometimes he also helps with farming. There's no one to babysit me while my mom, my brother and sister are working. My sister is 16, my brother is 13. When I first went out to fields, I didn't know what to do. I used a knife to cut the flour on top off. Child tobacco workers told us they hurt themselves using sharp tools and working around machinery and that they faced other dangers. Todos, 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 casi la mayoría, se van sobre arriba, arriba de los bones, que son unos 10, 15, 20, 30 metros de altura. Uno a veces no se fija uno y pisa uno más y puede uno venirse hacia abajo. O sea, no pasa de un accidente, quizás podría ser, pues hasta perder la vida. Eso es, eso es muy, o sea, es muy fatal y... They told us they were utterly exhausted, most working 50 to 60 hours a week, often in extreme heat. 
Some said their employers didn't give them drinking water or access to bathrooms. If your neck starts hurting, your shoulders are hurting, and you just like your body wants to give up. It feels like you can't feel your legs and you gotta take breaks. I use the bathroom before I leave and I just wait till I get back here. We yeah. start working at 6 and we get out at 6 and I just wait till I get home. It feels horrible because you feel like there's no air and then you look down, you look beside and then you're only halfway done and you feel like it's time for us to get out because you feel like you're going to die in there. Us Hispanic people, we work for less than other people would. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like slavery back in the day, but we'll work for pretty much anything just to help our family out. And it's really hard because if you pay rent, some of us actually gets put out on the road, on the street, and we don't have nowhere else to go. Patricia is a tobacco worker. She's a mother of six children, age four to 17. Her entire family works in tobacco, with the exception of her youngest child. The more sticks we cut, the more money we make. With their money, they try to buy the, like the school supplies we can't buy from them. I want them to actually complete high school and get the diploma and get good jobs where they don't have to always work in the field in the heat. 90% of U.S. tobacco is grown in four states. The biggest tobacco companies in the world, including those that make some of the most popular cigarettes, purchase tobacco grown on farms where children are working. These companies have the responsibility to keep children out of hazardous work on tobacco farms. Child labor should not be made in the USA. If I had kids one day, like, I wouldn't let them work in the field because since I work there, I know what it's like and I wouldn't want them to go through the same thing I went through. I wouldn't want to know that they're out in the heat like I was. I would want them to have a better life. 